Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about the fields of drama. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. They called the story the fields of drama. Hello, Patra. I was recently introduced to your channel and enjoy your content. I've been playing PvP since Heavensward and thought it would be fun to share one of my experiences. This story takes place during one of the content droughts of the game. The majority of my FC members had gone off to play other games during this time, so I was mostly alone when I was online. I didn't have any other games to play at the time. I had done everything PvE related that I wanted to do. All that was really left for me to try was PvP. The skill ceiling required for PvP back then was a lot higher than it is now. There was no guard or recuperating skills to rely on. That's true. It was different. Some people actually like the old PvP and some people like the one now more than the older one. Just preference. Old PvP was scary, you think, chat? I like how the moves are more limited now. The other one felt a bit overwhelming, but it's hard to say because I was very new to the game when the old PvP was around. I had more time with the new PvP. You never played the old, P but you love the new PvP. Yeah, we just had a, like, it's so easy for us to talk about the new PvP because all of us know it, but not many know the old one. There was no way to mitigate damage, and the only way to get healed was through the healers. It was truly a game of wits and skill. So they're a big fan of the old PvP. My favorite PvP mode was the Fields of Glory Shatter. That to me is the worst one at the moment, because right now we're only cycling through three. We have um, On Soul. That's my favorite one. And then we have Seal Rock. And that one's, I'm fine with that one because I'm trying to get my coat. I'm still trying to get my coat. And then Fields of Glory to me is my worst out of the three right now. I just attack crystals and I'm like, okay, this is so like less interactive compared to the other ones, the other maps. My main job was Dark Knight. I played Dark Knight before it was meta, like it currently is now in PvP. They're right. Dark Knight is is OP right now. Is it still OP? I just know it's so meta. Like everyone loves Dark Knight because it has that move that pulls everyone in. It's just like really handy for your team. Back then, you could have a full party of eight and a pre-made party had a good chance of winning. Most... Wait, you could have a full party of eight? They took that feature away. You could only do a party of four max now. I didn't know back then it was eight. Most of the player base for PvP never bothers to learn their buttons or are just there for participation rewards. They don't take the time to learn to PvP properly in general. Yeah, because, okay, because PvP is part of like the dailies, you'll get players that just literally do it for the dailies and that's okay. You got like 76 players in there, you'll be fine with a couple of people who don't know what they're doing. Oh, it's 72? Okay, 72. I can't do math. 72 people. If you're in a team that has like a lot of new players who just stand around and don't really do a lot, then yeah, your team's probably gonna lose. One time I joined one of these pre-made parties because they had a slot open. One of their regular players had left. Wait, so wh where did he, he just opened up Party Finder and got a pre-made party for old PVP? That's pretty cool. Cause I don't think people, do people do that for the new PVP? I don't think I've ever come across like a PF looking for players to play PvP front lines. I don't, I've never seen that. Maybe it was a thing back in the day for eight people, right? I could tell they were serious about their business based on the party composition. And I wasn't surprised when we won the match. After the session had ended, I received a message from Veronica, who was the leader of the pre-made. She had noticed that my damage was in the top five players of the match, and she was impressed. She offered to have me join her pre-made because good PvP players were rare to find. I accepted and she sent me a Discord invite to their PvP server. I saw people in the voice channels and I assumed they were in there seriously coordinating everything that they were doing. But when I joined the voice chat, I found out that it was the opposite of what I had imagined. It was just a bunch of normal people messing around and having a good time. 
Even when we were in the heat of a battle, the chill mood still prevailed. I ended up making new friends right away. It was comforting to know that these try-hard pre-maids were actually super chill. Sounds like a nice community, whichever PvP community that was back in the day. I ended up getting somewhat closer to Veronica, our white mage healer. Since I played tank, I'd protect her and she would support me. Okay, we know where this is going. She would give me compliments and thank me for peeling for her. I was doing my job as a tank, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't flattered. This is where love began to bloom on the battlefield. <laughs> that sentence this is where love began to bloom on the battlefield but veronica was dating and living with another guy who was in the pre-made his name was logan logan was the machinist in our party he was known for his reckless style of play he would always overextend and make veronica work extra hard to keep him alive if he did die he would chew Veronica out, saying she was a trash healer. Damn. Actually, Veronica was a solid healer. And even with my support to help Logan when he overextended, we would barely be able to keep him alive sometimes. <laughs> the echo of an ego. <laughs> Bombastic side. Chai, you're so funny. Without Veronica pocket healing him, Logan was legit trash. He had zero awareness and zero skill. He would even run ahead of me, the tank, before I had properly engaged for us. Then he would blame Veronica for not healing enough and call me out for being too slow. I finally said to him, Hey man, you're ranged. You should wait for me to engage as a tank, then follow up. It'll make things a lot smoother for us as a team. Logan replied, nah, bro, if this dumbass healer would actually heal, there wouldn't be any issue. Logan clearly wasn't interested in adjusting his playstyle. He insisted that the healer adjust. Veronica came back with a sharp retort, cussing him out and saying what a stupid range player he was. Why the F were you in front? You act like you're a melee job when you're an effing range job. We even have a dedicated tank player to engage for us to make shit even easier than it was before. Logan then replied, Why don't you just shut the F up and heal like you're supposed to? They would bicker in voice chat like this on a regular basis. Then moments later, they'd calm down and everything would return to normal. I'm pretty sure at that time, what I was witnessing was a toxic relationship. Oh, 100%. This guy is just being asked to Veronica. Not gonna lie, I don't think I'd mess with Logan. He sounds scary. <laughs> it's the name. I'm telling you, it's the name of the character in the story. Because Logan sounds like the um, Wolverine guy. <laughs> One day after we had done our rounds of stomping noobs. That was in quotations. One day after we'd done our round of stomping noobs, Veronica messaged me. She vented to me about Logan's behavior and I sympathized with her. You gotta empathize. Empathize, not sympathize. Well, I, know. I prefer empathy over sympathy. I don't know about you guys. Logan would legit be on the floor all game if not for her. Then Veronica started complimenting me. She told me how well I played as a tank and how easy it was to support me. Now, I had played competitive fighting games for the past four years and naturally, I had integrated some battle strategies such as positioning, playing footsies, and baiting skills out of other players in order to counter them. These were all things I thought were common sense, but it wasn't common knowledge in Final Fantasy XIV PvP. And this knowledge made me an above average PvP player. That was really cool, but also really sad. <laughs> it sounded a little pretentious. I was like, I don't know what skills you have to learn exactly in fighting games that would make you better in P Final Fantasy XIV PvP. 
<laughs> there maybe there's a little, but I feel like they're so different. This guy's tooting his own horn. <laughs> so he's basically saying it's so cool that I know it, but so sad that other people don't and that they suck. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Veronica and I got pretty close while we were talking that evening. My feelings for her were growing, but I tried to repress them. She was in a relationship. I would just offer to listen and comfort her the best I could. It felt a little better that she relied on me as a friend. It helped to ease my aching heart. A couple weeks later, Veronica told me that Logan and she had gotten into a nasty argument and that he had moved out of her apartment. Oh, so they were like boyfriend and girlfriend IRL. She was hurt and upset, and she apologized for always venting on me. At that moment, I confessed my feelings to her. Not the best timing. <laughs> like, oh yeah, me and my boyfriend just broke up. By the way, I like you. Not the best, but it's the worst. No, yeah, really not a good time. Really not a good time. Where were we? At that moment, I confessed my feelings to her. I know the timing was probably not ideal, but my feelings got the better of me. I mean, OP does say the timing wasn't ideal. Something must have happened in that conversation that made OP feel like, oh, now is the time to tell her. So maybe, <laughs> I don't know. We started dating right away. That was, that was fast, right after the breakup. She surprised me by transferring to my server, and we were married in-game. We were incredibly happy. My heart was set free at long last. Unfortunately, fairy tales don't always have happy endings. After dating me for about a month, Veronica suddenly disappeared. I tried to contact her for two weeks with no response, and then finally I got a reply. She apologized and she said she had been busy with work, but something seemed off. I did some detective work and found out she was dating another guy. I was heartbroken and devastated. Clearly, she was in the wrong. But I tried to tell myself that it was understandable that she would choose to date someone who was closer to her in real life rather than a long-distance relationship. I asked myself, why was I even upset? This was my own fault for trying to pick up someone right after they just got out of a relationship. I was trying to reason my way out of the pain. As I analyzed the whole situation, I finally came to conclusion that yes, she is in the wrong. And my sorrow turned to vengeance. Okay, we're going down south. I was going to get revenge on Veronica for all of this. Oh my god, no! It's becoming dark. Yeah, well, he plays the Dark Knight, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I reached out to another player in our pre-made, Parvati. I told her all about the situation with me and Veronica, and I was pleased to find out that Parvati and apparently a lot of other people in the Discord did not like Veronica. Through my connection with Parvati, I was able to get an audience with the admins of the Discord server. I convinced them to ban Veronica from their Discord by telling them my story. Oh my god. They got a lot of people involved and got her banned from the Discord. That's, that's a bit much, right? Because it's like their personal issue, not other people's issues. And then I got a message from Veronica saying I was an incredibly vindictive and mental person. I replied, You fucked with the wrong person. Never appear before me again. <laughs> okay. Okay, Gandalf. Why is he like, you must vanish now. Never appear before me again. I blocked her and never saw her again after that. I would have never imagined such an abyss of drama could come from the side of content known as PvP. Thank you for reading my story. This is actually only a chapter of the drama I've experienced in PvP community. If you guys enjoyed this one, I'd be happy to share more. The end. Okay. Let's start dissecting a little bit. So, you know, for maybe the girl, Veronica, maybe a relationship in the game isn't serious to her. 
That's what it sounds like. Like she had an IRL relationship with Logan. And then after that, she did kind of have a thing with OP. According to OP, they had a thing. And then he did detective work and then she had a new guy IRL. She is going to take the IRL guy seriously. And she probably doesn't take online dating seriously. Whereas someone like OP might take online dating more seriously. So I don't know. That's just my guess. I get some stories like this where I get um, OPs that really hype themselves up. And this is definitely an example of one of them, I feel. Like they did talk about how awesome they were with PvP. And they might, they might really be really awesome. But it's just funny when they write about it and it's like, okay, it's like we're like, we get it. We get it. You're really good at PvP. What do you guys think about this main character syndrome? Not gonna lie, this is am I the asshole story. <laughs> it went south really fast. It was like, it started so like nice, like, oh my God, we found love. And then, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you pay. Yeah, it, it got too intense. Like, you, you, just, just let it go. Delulu sometimes is not the Salulu. <laughs> Sounds like a very passionate guy in a scary way. Sounds like a Dark Knight main. That's what, yeah, he is a Dark Knight main in PvP. That's what I said earlier. It was like, it's the Dark Knight in him. Just very edge lordy. Does he play an aura too? <laughs> Your stereotypes. Dark Knight must be an aura. Male aura. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. Remember, these are real people behind the stories and they're human and can make mistakes. They'll also be reading the comment section, so please try to have constructive criticism. There are always nicer ways to say something versus saying it meanly to help someone learn and grow. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg/patra.